Five years ago, Grenfell Tower in West London caught fire and 72 men, women and children lost their lives. Since then, no criminal charges have been brought. Today, thousands of people are marching in a silent walk to demand justice. Isaac Polos. <laughs> Birok Haftum. 18 names, 18 balloons, to represent the 18 children who died in the Grenfell fire. It's hard to believe it's been five years. But on the faces of the bereaved, the pain is clear to see. 72 people died that night. The youngest was Marcio Gomez's son, Logan. He was stillborn after his mother inhaled too much smoke and toxic gas. He's always with me. Um, a day doesn't go by, I don't, I don't think of him. Um, and and to be honest, this, this is why I do interviews. This is why um, I'm part of Grenfell United and, and why I want to hold these companies, organizations to, to account. Because my son isn't here. Because the other 71 souls aren't here. This is a community forever connected by one night of horror. They find comfort in coming together a shared grief no one else can understand. But some try. Those that showed support at the start are still doing so. Members of the royal family and the crowned king of rap, Stormzy. They were invited to this remembrance service at the base of the tower. Others in authority were not. The ongoing public inquiry has exposed a catalogue of failures, of errors, of corporate complacency, Five years on and no one has been charged with a crime. But that's the fight for another day. Today is about love and remembering those who died. In the centre of the nearby Westfield shopping centre, a wall of green hearts and a 72 second silence. For those that lost loved ones in the fire, for those that survived and for those that bore witness, time has not been a healer. It feels like, you know, it was yesterday. Um, our community still has a long, long way to go before we heal. And I think it's because nothing has happened. Nobody's gone to jail. No justice has been, you know, has been served for the people that died in Grenfell Tower. So the community walks on. And after five years, it's stronger than ever, with support from all over the country, marching together in their thousands in silence to reflect, to remember and to unite. Charlotte Lomas, Sky News.